Shifters and DD2's track is hot, ready to go racing. Here's the way we're gonna line them up. On the fourth row on the 222, it's Robbie Poupart. Chris Clemon in the number 48 will be in the eighth position. In the fifth position, the number five of David Walker. In the fourth position, number 58 of Jorgen Huguet. In the third position, the 6D of Dallas LaSalle, who had a great race the last race. Yeah, sure did. The 22G of Stephen Lamont on the outside pole. And on the pole will be the number 368 of Brian Whitmire. All right, Ron, here we go. This is uh, arguably one of the best, most exciting starts. You've got shifters which do a standing start. So we'll get them in position. Green flag will drop, and it's a drag race to the first corner. Off they go. Behind them are the, uh, the two DD2s. They'll do a rolling start. And we're off. Look like they got a good clean start. Maybe a couple little bumps and bruises, but no harm, no foul. Rubbin's racing. That's right. That's what they say. If you're not rubbing, you're not racing. I'm not sure if that's in the rule book or not. Well, we got Garrett here. Maybe, well, is it? <laughs> it's not? It's not in the rule book. All right. You heard that, folks? It's not in the rule book. Didn't take Dallas long to get right up in there and get in the get in the fight. And Dallas all over the back bumper of Steven Lamana. Sounded like a black flag being dished out. We didn't see what the uh, incidence was, but uh, pointed black flag. Here we go. Looks like it's for Stephen Lamont, a 22G. Wow, and he makes a pass under a black flag. What a move. I hope we had that on video because you don't see that often. Oh, that's going to be that's going to be quite a battle going on now. As Dallas has moved up on uh, on Stephen, looks like Whitmire's dropped back some, and I see the DD twos have moved right up, almost to the back end here. They're having quite a battle as well. Oh, Ooh, little looks like a little almost beating and banging there in the DD two ranks. Yes, indeed. Yeah, last time by, Stephen Lamana with a 40.337 and Dallas LaSalle with a 40.297. Oh, he held on though. Looked like he dive bombed him there off the off the straight. Looks like, is that Dallas LaSalle in front now? Yes. Awesome pass. Yeah, Dallas LaSalle just went by at a sub-40 at 39.639. Opened up a half-second lead over our second-place driver. Chris Clement, the 48, with his fastest time at 40.286.
Ron, how's Robbie Poupart doing? He's a, a local favorite, one of our staff members over at the Nola Speed Robbie's Speed Shop. Doing, Robbie's doing fine. He's uh, He and, uh, who is it, Chris Clement are having quite a battle. Looks like he's gotten back around him now. But again, you know, they're going to run into this lap traffic here of, of the uh, number five. It looks like the three twos of Poupart are still out there in front. Those shifters are hard to pass on the straights there. Quick, quick, quick. Still looks like Dallas is uh, stretching out his lead just a little bit. Maybe not, though. It looks like... Looked like the uh, number five let the 48 go by. Well, it looks like he's gonna go ahead and let him by this time as he went. Oh, Whoa! Wow. A little bit of a spin there in the back. Couldn't tell exactly what happened out there, but looked like we had a little contact. Still got quite a battle going on. I think that is Brian, Brian and Jordan. There's the 22. So this must be Fort Meyer. And yeah, the 58. Jordan Huget and uh, Brian Whitmire having quite a battle there. And again, Dallas has actually extended his lead almost out to a full second. His fastest lap so far, his best time is 39.313, so. Hey, we got a message from Bob Beasley. He says, uh, a shout out to all the sportsman drivers. A great race, guys. Congratulations to Jacob. Awesome. Thanks, Bob. Bob, get those two strokes together and get back out here. Steven Lomano, his fastest lap there on 39.351. Again, just, just closed his gap just a little bit. Couple fast times set. This time, Dallas LaSalle with a 38.968 his last time by. And Steven Lamano with a 39.228. Chris Clement his last time by a 40.238. Again, the gap between first and second is extended out to just over one second. Although out on the course, it looks a lot closer than that.
Ron looks like Stevens cut the gap down to about six tenths of a second. Yes, he has. It looked like it looked like out on the track he definitely gained just a little bit on him. Just a few more laps left. We'll have to see how things shake out. Brian Whitmire with his fastest lap, 40.063. Now he's ten and a half seconds behind our leaders, but still turning some excellent laps. Let's see what we get as they come back by the start finish. He looks like uh, Dallas may have picked up just a tenth. Still a just three quarters of a second behind him is Steven. Now again, you're looking out on the out on the back stretch there. It looks like Dallas. Has maybe a little more top end speed there. White flag is waving, one lap to go. Here they come down to the checkered. Did he break? 